so I have a three-year-old and he already knows we went to the video store the other day and he was just so in shock that we couldn't just watch the movie immediately on our TV from Netflix or Amazon or something like that. Um, and we live in an age where kind of uh, instant gratification is almost slow at this point because it's, it's, it's quicker than an instant that we can have things. Um, and what I've noticed is that that brings issues in terms of um, contentment for a child when they can't have things now. Our children have always struggled with that throughout centuries probably. But how is it that we as parents can model in our own lives contentment but also encounter um, the lack of contentment and patience that's becoming more and more common um, today? Well, we certainly have to uh, reflect, as you said, that uh, contentment, which is ultimately contentment in God, because my discontentment is always dissatisfaction with God. If I believe that God is in control and He is working out His purposes, then my discontentment is always a reflection of my dissatisfaction with God. And it's always, it's always sin against God. So I think uh, keeping that in focus and even bringing that focus to my children, so I'm helping them to see, honey, you're not just complaining against Daddy right now, you're complaining against God because in God's providence, we can't watch this movie right now. Um, so I think that's a, a is an important issue. I think, it, you know, if I were parenting, I think this is what I would do. I'm not parenting young children. But if I were... If I were parenting young children today, I would really, uh, I'd really think through very carefully the amount of screen time I want them to have, and be very disciplined myself in that, because what happens is, the uh, the availability of that creates its own demand, its own sets of demands, and the fact that it's there and present and part of the, of what we do means the child wants to do that all the time because it's a passive form of entertainment that is very engaging and engages all the, you know, so many of the different senses, visually, you know, there's movement, there's sound, all that. Uh, you know, just coincidentally, I mean, I have two sons that have children. Neither of them have a television, so they've, they've really gone the other direction in terms of just not wanting to have a lot of screen time at their house. So they may get a movie sometime and get a projector out and project it against the thing and it's, you know, it's popcorn and a movie and it's a big deal. The kids are not expecting that all the time. So I think if I were parenting young kids, I would, I would not want the, to use the iPad as a uh, babysitter or as something to engage them and distract them from other things. And I would want to... Uh, to not create all those expectations. So I think that's one another side of it too. I think we need to be real wise about that. 